Five, hearing from an accused killer tonight, more jailhouse phone calls between Austin Harriff and his parents. The college student charged with the vicious murders of a Martin County couple. Megan McRoberts continues our coverage tonight of a story we broke at five o'clock. She's at the Martin County Jail. Megan. Michael Kelly, Austin Harriff's first phone calls came from the medical wing of the Martin County Jail. From there, he talked to his parents about how he was recovering from his own injuries he sustained that night of the August 2016 attacks. He also made very specific requests for items he wanted family members to bring him to help him pass time while he was in jail. I just want to go outside and be with you guys. Austin, I know. Be strong. Be strong, okay? Only days after he was booked into jail, an emotional Austin Harriff spoke to his mother. This is the hardest thing I've ever been through. This is going to be the hardest thing I don't think anyone's ever gone through. She and her boyfriend asked Austin how he was doing. How are your hands healed? They're feeling better. I'm getting used back to them. They're still a little shaky. In conversations with his father, Austin asked for specific things. Can you send me a lot of magazines? Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll send you what kind of magazines you want. Like muscle magazines, time magazines, just magazines you think I'd like. He later asked for a journal and an easy to read Bible and a therapist. I need one so bad. His parents get a glimpse of the isolation Harif is subjected to. Did they let you out of yourself? Hardly. Not really. At this point, Austin was already charged with two counts of murder and attempted murder. On August 15th, deputies found Austin biting off part of John Stevens' face. He and his wife, Michelle, were dead. Deputies say Harif also brutally attacked their neighbor, Jeff Fisher, who tried to intervene. Austin's father assured him he'll do anything to make his jail stay as short as possible. Am I going to be okay? Yeah, you're going to be okay. I'm going to hire two lawyers. I'm going to get the best lawyer I can buy. Because I love you, buddy. Love you, too. Austin's parents also told him that they were so proud of him because he did not speak publicly to anyone about this case, including the media, as we were here trying to get answers from him when he was escorted to jail. Toxicology results showed he did not have any mind-altering drugs in his system at the time of the killings, but his attorneys have gone on the record saying he does suffer from mental illness. Reporting live in Martin County, I'm Megan McRoberts, WPTV News Channel 5.